while your journeyman is responsible for you at work, you are ultimately responsible for your life. And so you're the one who decides if you go home tonight. A little bit of a trigger warning up front. I know that some of you guys aren't gonna love what I'm about to say, uh, but it's gotta be talked about. Just wanna get the truth out there. So we'll put it out there up front though that I do love the trades. I think it's a great opportunity. I think people should be, uh, especially even younger people should get into them more. I'm a big supporter of that. And, and I also believe that it's not as widespread as it's made out to be, but I do believe that when it rears its ugly head, that it that it comes in full force and it almost seems more widespread because I've honestly experienced it less myself, like actually working with people and working with guys. And I've experienced it a lot more, uh, mostly from the internet, which I understand that when you put yourself out there on social media, that you're going to get some hate back. I fully am aware I, I'm opening myself up to it and I'm probably going to get some hate for this video. So we might as well make a little bit of a game out of it. Go ahead and head down to the comments and roast the anti-trade of whatever you work. So if you're a plumber, go ahead and roast electricians, electricians, plumbers. Uh, I don't know who HVAC guys hate the most, but just let's just make a little fun game out of it. You know, we always like to kid. We like to have a good time. There is one major issue that I have with the trades, and it's this like super macho manly thing uh, where we have to do things the hard way in order to be considered like manly. It's like crazy to me that it's one of the only things, it's one of the only professions that you can do where it's like, if you want to do things an easier way, that's more efficient, then you almost catch flack for it. I posted this video. Um, it was on TikTok about these plastic pliers and man, people were just going like crazy. They're like, why do you need plastic pliers? Be a man, use, you know, just use your tools, just do this, do that. And you know what? I get it. Like, I understand they're not for everyday use. They're not an all the time thing. But that would be like if the NFL, like a professional football player, if people were like, why do you want better gloves? I'm like, I don't understand. It's the only type of profession where doing something that could either make you more safe or doing something that could make you um, more efficient. It goes from being like, like you end up being like a Nancy boy or like some type of thing like that when really like I believe that being effective and being proficient is what makes a good electrician. I think anybody can do the work but I think it takes a special breed to do the work well. And so that's that's like, that's my whole thing. That's the majority of this channel is like trying to help people, just giving out tips and tricks and things that have helped me become efficient, uh, whether that's tools, whether that's, you know, workflow, whatever that is, it's like trying to help people get to that point. They're gonna say whatever, you know, like get your panties out of a wad or whatever. I don't know what people say, uh, that's lame. I understand and I, I get it that I'm on the internet and I'm I'm opening myself up to criticism, but it is something that we see a lot. And so I just like want to encourage you guys, whoever is out there, like don't you don't have to feel bad. Like you don't you always want to be safe. You always want to be effective. And there's going to be people who are like, why do you have insulated screwdrivers? I'm gonna be honest. I don't need them. But guess what? I like the way they look and they feel. So I use them. It's crazy to me that just because you want to have better tools and you want to have more things that you can end up being considered like less of a man somehow because you want to because uh, you don't have some thirty dollar pair of diagonal cutters that suck and have like no insulation on them at all. It's like that makes you less or that makes you like girly. You know, I, I made a video uh, not too long ago. It's It's been blowing up, but it's about, you know, five reasons why being an electrician sucks. Those things are just reasons that are bad things that happen while you're an electrician. They don't set the tone for being an electrician. There are negative things, but this isn't some like toxic masculinity thing. Like, I don't believe that. I think masculinity is great. I think that you should be like tough and resilient and you have to be to do the trades and you should be. That's what men do. Um, and if you're a woman, and you can do it, that's fantastic, that's great. I'm not discriminating. This isn't like a toxic masculinity rant. I don't believe that, you know, all masculinity is toxic. Like, I think men should be men, and I agree, and you should be tough, and you should be like, you know, like go-getters, go you should have drive, you should wanna do these things, and you should be resilient. I believe in that, like I think that sh that's number one. It's when we take that and we, we use it as an excuse 
to like not grow in our craft, to not do things that are more efficient because it's like not the way we've always done it. A ton of money on tools isn't for everybody to have the right things. Some people like it. Some people, it gives them an edge. That's the thing. It's not just having tools that gave me the edge, but it was a representation though, like the same way I always had the right tools early and had the tools that helped me be more efficient is the same way. Like, cause the people who are looking stuff up on YouTube that are watching stuff that are getting the right tools that want to be, they're the people who are applying themselves. They're the people who are trying to grow. And it's like people who are, who are intellectual, who are like doing trades. Cause that is, that is true. Like you can be smart and do trades. I know people don't believe that, uh, but you can, it's possible. You know, we've just gotten to the place where people are like comfortable leaving comments like this, uh, because I've got a pair of plastic pliers. That is not what makes you like soft. That's not what makes you lazy. It's simply just like applying and making sure that you have the right tools to be safe, to be effective, to be uh, all those things and to like grow into being something better, to being a better electrician. I, I don't think it's that widespread. I really do, especially on social media. Like, but here's the deal is that it's not just me, you know, because I'm putting myself out there. It's also the people who see those comments and are like, they think that about this group. I'm all for it. I'll take it and won't be offended uh, ever. You all, you guys can roast me in the comments now. I really, I really don't care. What trade do you guys think is actually the worst about this? It is mostly just a thing that happens on the internet because you control people. And the issue is that it carries over, especially for the young guys. They see that stuff because they're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and they see those comments of people being negative towards other people who are doing things, just trying to be safe. Live work happens. It happens. It's not bad. There's a lot of situations. If you're safe, you can do it well. And if you're not comfortable, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not encouraging anyone to work live. But I do, I have, and it's not an issue, but there are certain times where you have to be safer than others. There's certain times things are easier, situations are easier, wires are longer, and that you know you can manipulate them and stuff like that. And there's times where you can't. There's two sides. There's one side that says, I'll never work live, and there's one side that says, I'll do whatever, because I'm, ugh. Everybody knows that when you go into an old house or an old uh, commercial facility, electricians, God bless you guys like to use the leave your wires. Like you guys had a competition of like who could leave the least amount of wire and it makes it impossible. And so guess what? If you have a customer in the room with you or around you, you can't just like do everything. Cause guess what? The wires are literally in the box and it's like, how, how, how would you ever work on that live? And like, it's just not smart. Everybody that I've worked with for the most part, has been extremely kind. They've been extremely uh, welcoming. They've been like family oriented. Uh, a lot of the people that I've worked with have been like actually genuinely good people. That's, I think that's what the majority of the trades are. I, I really do believe that. And, and that's something that I appreciate. It's the issue is when we get that like small group that just makes us look terrible. I think that's like the, the biggest issue and it puts off this persona that all tradespeople are like that. And don't get me wrong, like we have a good time. I wanna laugh too. Like I don't care to get made fun of and, and make fun of people back and like have fun. That's, that's what we should be doing. It makes work go by, you know, it's camaraderie. I think that's, especially men, like we do that to each other all the time. And so that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about when guys like genuinely make fun of other guys for doing something because they're trying to be safe, because they're not comfortable doing something. Like if you're not comfortable, don't do it. You have to trust your journeyman. There is a certain point where you have to know your own limits too. There's there's just no way around it that like, if you're not comfortable doing it and if you're nervous doing it, like wait, just tell them and say no. Like, hey, I'm, I don't wanna do that. There are people who are more scared and there's a, there's a spectrum here of like people who are like, I don't wanna drive a lift. I'm scared to drive a lift. And that's like, get over it, right? At the same time, people like that probably aren't cut out for the trades because that's that that is like the least of it, you know? The other end of the spectrum though that I'm talking about is like people who aren't scared to drive a lift. It's like exciting to them, but, but they are, it's like working live for the first time when you're a first year or a second year and you're like uncomfortable and you're like, I don't think I'm, like this isn't comfortable for me then don't do it. While your journeyman is responsible for you at work, you are ultimately responsible for your life. And so you're the one who decides if you go home tonight, if you're not comfortable, you don't do it because you're the one who has to pay for it. I don't mean like physically, like you don't have to give money, but I'm saying that like, like if something, you know, goes bad and you're like, I don't know how to do this and I don't feel comfortable and you like hang something in the ceiling 
and then it falls down and like crushes somebody, it's you have to live with that being like, oh my God, that person's paralyzed because I didn't know what I was doing and I just like didn't say anything. Ask, talk to them, ask for help. If you're not comfortable, ask for help or don't do it. There is no substitute for like safety. There is no substitute for being able to go home. There's no substitute for having a sound mind at night when you're going to sleep, knowing that you did everything you were supposed to do and that the people who you're working around or with or who are gonna be in that building next or whatever it is, knowing that they're safe and that you're safe and that your family's gonna be able to have you at night to come home to.